Hi folks, so the topic we're going to be going over today guys is uh, the oblique plane and specifically how to locate points on the oblique plane, okay? And what we're going to be using is horizontal cuts and uh, vertical cuts as well. So uh, this question guys is from the DCG uh, Solutions uh, textbook, okay, or workbook I should say, it's a uh, sheet 5 on the oblique plane. So what we're going to do is, there's four questions on this page, we're going to start them off, uh, question one, and then we'll work our way through it. So, question one, it says, point P is on the oblique, is on the oblique plane VTH. The vertical trace is inclined at 30 degrees to the XY line. Okay, so first of all, we can put in that vertical trace there. And it tells us there straight away, the vertical trace, which is where the oblique plane cuts the vertical plane, okay, it leaves a vertical trace behind that is inclined at 30 degrees to the XY line. So I put in that there. So that's my vertical trace, okay? Uh, the angle in there obviously is 30 degrees. And the horizontal trace is as shown. So we can see VTH, okay? Given the plan of P, locate this in elevation. Okay, so what we're actually going to do guys here is, uh, the method we're going to use is actually a horizontal cut, okay? And what we're going to do is that horizontal cut, guys, it's very, very important to note that that horizontal cut, we're going to send that horizontal cut through the height of wherever P is, okay? Now, obviously, we can't tell the height of P in our plan view, but any horizontal cut, okay, when it goes through the oblique plane, okay, it will be parallel, okay, in our plan view to the horizontal trace, okay? So a horizontal cut, okay, or a horizontal plane cutting across, when it cuts through the oblique plane, okay, at the position of point P, the line it cuts through it will be parallel to the horizontal trace. So from P, we're going to go parallel to the horizontal trace up to the XY line, like that, okay? Now we do know that P in our elevation is going to be straight above where P is in our plan. So it has to be somewhere up there like that, okay? And then we have one other little step to do then, okay? The height of it is going to be when we project up here to the vertical trace, we want to project straight up, and then where it hits the vertical trace, okay, where it hits the vertical trace right here, we are going to come across, okay? So just come across like this. And in that position there, I have now found P in my elevation, okay? So what we see here, guys, is basically when we do a horizontal cut, okay, that is going to be parallel to the horizontal trace, and it is a true length in our plan view. In the elevation, the elevation of this line here, okay, which is where it's cutting through our oblique plane, that's what we see up here, and that is parallel to the XY line. That is how we locate our point in our elevation view, okay? So question two here, guys, we can see it says point B is on the oblique plane VTH, the horizontal trace is inclined at 45 degrees to the XY line. Okay, so straight away we're going to put in our horizontal trace. Now, when we put in our horizontal trace, 45 degrees like that. So that's our HT down here. Okay. Uh, to the XY line and the vertical trace is as shown. Given the elevation of P, locate is in plan. Okay. So this is like the last question that we just went over, okay? Only this time, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going parallel to our vertical trace. And in this case, what we're actually doing is we're taking a vertical cut section, okay? So because we're taking a vertical cut, therefore, the trace that from P where that cutting plane, the vertical cutting plane is going through is going to be parallel to our vertical trace. So what I'm going to do is from P, I am going to <coughs> do that vertical cut through P, and it will be parallel to our vertical trace. Okay, once again, that vertical cut now will actually be a true length. If it's a true length in one view, it's going to be parallel with the horizontal plane in the other view, or I should say, sorry, the XY line. So at this point now, I'm going to project P down. We know P has to be somewhere directly below it in our plan view, okay? And then where it hits here on the XY line, project that down to the horizontal trace. And where it hits the horizontal trace, project it across. And as you can see, I just have to project P down a little bit further. And that is how you locate points on the oblique plane. So that's our P in our plan view. Okay. 
Uh, very similar to the first question we just did there, only the opposite way around, okay? I hope you found that understandable. Now we're going to move on to question three there, guys, okay? Right, guys, so question three here, it says, point P is on the oblique plane VTH. The plan and elevation of P are given. And then it says, locate the horizontal trace of the oblique plane. So in this one now, what we're actually going to do is we're kind of going to work backwards from what we've previously done in other questions, okay? And uh, what we actually have to work out is where the horizontal trace is. They haven't given us the angle of the horizontal trace this time, but they have told us uh, the location of point P in the elevation and in our plan view, okay? So the one we want to figure out, obviously, is our uh, where a point is on the horizontal trace somewhere in relation to point P here. Okay, so in this case, once again, we are actually going to be taking a, a, a sorry a vertical cutting section through it, and a vertical cutting section will be parallel, okay, to our vertical trace from P. Okay, so we're kind of working backwards from what we've done previously in another question. Now, so from P, I'm going to project that down parallel to my vertical trace. At this point here, we know P connects up obviously with P bloat, so I'm just going to make it look like we have done in previous questions, okay, because one will be directly above each other, okay, and then at this point here where it hits the XY line, what we're going to do is we are going to project down and from P here, project across, across, and at that point there, that is actually a point on our horizontal trace, so now we can draw in the horizontal trace. Okay. Not too much to it, guys. Just a little bit of understanding of how you go about actually uh, finding various points on it or finding the traces. So that's our VTH done. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to question four. So question four here, guys. It says point P is on the oblique plane VTH once again. The plan and elevation of P is given, okay, locate the vertical trace. So like we did in the previous question, we're just going to work the other way around to be able to locate it uh, in our elevation, the vertical trace. So what we're actually going to do is, first of all, is we're going to set up a horizontal cutting plane that cuts through point P in our plan view. So from P in my plan view, I am going to project up parallel to the horizontal trace. Where that hits the XY line, I will project it up. But before I do that, just to give the image that every other question we have done, we connected up point P as well. Both views there. And then where it hits here, the XY line, I'm going to project that up. And then project P across. Okay. And just remember, once again, that this line here, that horizontal cut, okay, which is parallel with the horizontal plane. That is a true length where it cuts through the oblique plane. Therefore, that is the image of that line in our elevation. But what it has helped us find is this point here, which is a point on our vertical trace. Okay, a little bit in that there, guys, uh, just in the understanding of it. Okay, uh, generally what you would use, obviously, is maybe some sketches and things to help you along with the understanding. And that is explained quite well in, these, in the DCG Solutions um, ebook okay so uh try and get those done there guys and we'll move on to the next uh, page okay. hi folks so the question we have today guys is based off of the oblique plane and it has to do with point location and not specifically just one point but three points in relation to what's known as a lamina a lamina guys is basically um a triangular surface guys okay on a oblique plane okay or any form of plane okay and like you can see here i've basically labeled my lamina point one point two and point three so if I was to label them down in the sketch down here, technically that there would be one, that would be two, and then this one would be three, and so on, okay? I've also labeled the vertical plane, okay? That vertical plane is up here above the XY line, and we obviously, you can see down here is the vertical plane, okay? And then I've got the horizontal plane here, and this is the horizontal plane down here, okay? And what the question asks us is, is shown as the elevation of a lamina resting on the oblique plane. So we can see the elevation view of that lamina as it rests on the oblique plane. We can see our oblique plane here. Now the elevation, okay guys, is the image that lamina projects onto the vertical plane. 
Okay, so we can see point one, two, and three. So technically, you can actually see it down here now, and I'm just going to move this camera down here so you can see this a little bit better. But the points one, two, and three, basically, the elevation of that is when they have been projected onto the vertical plane. So point one projects back onto the vertical plane, the same point two, and the same of point three. Okay, so we can see obviously point one, two, and three, all of them are varying degrees of closeness, okay, to the vertical plane. One is probably the closest, then two, and we can see that three is the furthest one away. But the image that they project onto the vertical plane is that there, okay, inside here. And that's what we see up in our elevation view up here. So I'm just going to come back to that there now, guys. And I'll zoom out there again. Okay. So what we want to do now is it's saying locate the plan of the lamina, okay? And then it's saying on the pictorial illustrate how the points are located in plan. So what I'm actually going to do is like we did in the previous question, I'm going to locate one of these points using the same method for point location to find it down here in our my, in my plan view, okay? So the one I'm actually going to focus on is I'm going to start with number 2, okay? And after I do that, I'm going to do that down here in the sketch as well, okay? So at point number 2, because we're up here in the vertical trace and in the vertical plane, what I'm actually going to do is what's known as a, a vertical cut, okay? And how that would appear is it would be parallel to my vertical trace, okay? So I'm going to set up parallel to my vertical trace, and from point two, I'm going to go parallel to that trace, down to the XY line, just like that, okay? Where it hit the XY line there, let's put that in a little bit heavier, guys. Where that hits the XY line, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to project that down to hit my horizontal trace because that vertical cut on the horizontal trace would actually be a line parallel to the XY line. Okay, I'm going to project that across. As I said, it's going to be parallel to the XY line and where 2 is in my elevation, I'm going to bring it straight down. And what we have located there is point 2 in our plan view. Okay, so that's point two in our plan, right there like that. Now, I'm just going to bring you down to the sketch once again, just to kind of show you how that has actually happened, okay? I'll zoom in there on the sketch. Now, we had point two here, we can see it, okay? What I've essentially done is I have taken a vertical cut through the oblique plane from point two. That is parallel to the vertical trace. So if I was to label those traces, I've got V here, T down here and H there. And how we see that on our page is we see a horizontal trace here like this where the oblique plane is intersecting okay, the horizontal plane and then a vertical trace like this where the oblique plane is intersecting the vertical plane. Okay, that's what we see in our page. All right, and the elevation with the vertical trace, then the horizontal trace and plan. Now at point two, what we've essentially done is we've taken a vertical cutting section parallel to the vertical trace. So using sliding set squares there now guys, I'm going to go parallel to my vertical trace on the sketch. From number two, I went down like that, okay? So parallel, parallel, all right? Now at this point here, what's actually happened is, um, what has actually happened is we have literally gone across parallel to the XY line. Okay, you can see parallel there to the XY line, which is in here. And then from two, it has come vertically down. So what you can actually see there is we have located our point two in our plan view. And that will be the same for one. Okay, so we'll come down parallel to the vertical trace okay and then it comes across and then one will come down same with three parallel to the vertical trace it'll come back parallel to xy line and three down and that would help me locate my three points how that actually appears though in our orthographic views is it actually comes from here okay because that's where we have located it in our elevation view okay so that's where our two is in our elevation view now i know it's here in reality but in that position it's there in our elevation view so once again same thing I'm going to project it down Okay, this is how it would appear. That would come down as far as the XY line there. Okay, and we can see that that's what we've actually done on our page. And then on our page, where it hit the XY line, we went straight down to hit our horizontal trace. And as you can see there, 
Now I know that's obviously not straight line, but in reality it's parallel with the edge here, okay? So that went straight down, and then from there we went across, okay, to give us the point. And just to bring that up, from here it would have gone down like this, and across like that. Okay, and that's actually what we're drawing really in our elevation view. We essentially went from two parallel to the vertical trace to where it hits the XY line. Where it hit the XY line, we went down, or sorry, we went down, okay, to where it hits the horizontal trace, and then at the horizontal trace, we went parallel to the XY line over here, and then from two, we just projected from the elevation straight down, okay. Obviously, this is a 3D image where the uh, vertical plane is perpendicular to the horizontal plane, so that's why these angles in here are perpendicular. On our page, it literally would just go straight down, okay? So that's how you would actually locate the points, okay? But what I'm actually doing in here, guys, was literally just showing to you that the point two, if I was just to do it on the 3D sketch, that little section in there that I've done, okay, just shading that in there a little bit, okay, that's actually coming that section there is coming from what is a vertical cutting plane, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to use that concept to finish off the rest of the question. All right, so I'll zoom back out there now. Straighten that up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the exact same method then to find points uh, one and three. So at this point now, I'm going to project down, uh, I'll do point one next. Get this out of the way. Point one next, parallel to the vertical trace. Okay, and where it hits there, I am now going to project it down to where it hits the horizontal trace. Hits the horizontal trace there, project it across and then project one double. I have now found one. And the last one obviously is find three. So in this case, I'll just bring three down to have it ready. I assume it's going to be somewhere close enough down here. And what I'm going to do is go parallel once again to my vertical trace. So I can just take it from two here, same angle, bring that across. There's a cut there. That across. And then our tree is hit the XY line there. I'm going to bring it down to my horizontal trace. Where it hits the horizontal trace once again. And across. And now I've found three. So what I've actually found here now is one, two, and three. I can connect them up in my plan view okay and what I've actually found is my lamina in the plan view okay that is the elevation view of it and that is the plan view of it here and all we did was from the elevation we projected down parallel to the vertical trace projected straight down to where it hits the horizontal trace and went across okay because that is the true length of a vertical cutting plane in my elevation and that is how we would see that cutting plane in our plan view. Okay, and then we had a little explanation down here. So, not too hard guys, as long as you know how to do point location, you should be able to do that question. Uh, but it's very important that you get the understanding of it down here as well, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to move to the right hand side of the page, and we're going to do question two, working from the plan up. Okay. Right folks, so the next question we have on this page, it says, uh, shown in the plan, or sorry, shown is the plan of a lamina resting on the oblique plane. Okay, and we can see the plan view of it here. I've labeled one, two, and three. I've also shown you the vertical plane up here, the horizontal plane down here whereby the plan is. Okay, I'll put them in here down in my sketch view down here. So VP and then HP down here. Obviously, then we have our traces. So the vertical trace, okay, we can see it up here. That is signified down here in our sketch. I should say our pictorial view. So that's our vertical trace, where the oblique plane cuts through uh, the vertical plane. And then our horizontal trace, which is this one in our plan, that is here. That's our horizontal trace. So VTH, 
VTH, okay? And obviously we have our lamina inside net one, two, and three, and I've labeled them one, two, and three here. So the first thing now I'm going to do is I'm going to locate one of these points, one, two, and three, in the elevation, because that's what it's asking. Locate the elevation of the lamina. And then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to probably use three as an example to get one of those points, okay? So what we're going to do, guys, is this time we are taking what is known as a horizontal cutting section, okay? So I'm going to go parallel to my horizontal trace from tree. So parallel to the horizontal trace from tree, okay? And what I'm going to do then is project tree up where it's going to be roughly in elevation. I'd imagine it's probably up somewhere about that height. And then, <coughs> this, sorry, there we go. Where is the XY line? Bring that up. And then project across. And what I've now found is point three in my elevation view. Okay. Now, to explain that, guys, what we're actually doing here, okay, and I'm just going to show you it off um, the plan view of this down here. So I'm going to come down here quickly. I'm going to zoom in on the sketch so you can see that a little bit better. And what we've actually located up here is our lamina, all right? But we want the projections of that lamina on the elevation view. We already have it down here in the plan. So if that was one there, there's one down here. That's two. And down here is tree as well. And we can see it's directly below the tree above it, okay? Because that's the projections of the lamina when it's projected onto our horizontal plane. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you the projections of how I found that point, okay, over here in our elevation view and how it actually happens. So from tree in our plan view, in from tree in our plan view, we went horizontal, or sorry, not horizontal, parallel to our horizontal trace up to where it hits the XY line. So the relationship between that line there and this line is that they are parallel. Where it hits the uh, XY line, we project it up vertically, okay? So there, until it hits the vertical trace. Where it hits the vertical trace, we went parallel to the XY line, okay? And then we had to locate tree in the elevation as well. So what we did was, in our elevation view from tree, we projected straight up from our plan. And now I know I'm switching it up, but this is how it would appear on a 3D sketch. And there we go. Okay. And that there is the location of tree in our elevation. Okay. Right there. Okay. So what we did was, from tree, we went parallel to the horizontal trace. Then where it hits the XY line, put that in there, X. Y. Where it hits the XY line, we went up, and then where it hits the vertical trace, we went across, and then we project the tree up to find it. Now, to show you where that also comes from is, what we actually have is a horizontal cutting plane. Okay, so from where the lamina actually is on the oblique plane, not the projections of it on the plane or the elevation, but where that lamina is on the oblique plane, I'm going to do a horizontal cut, and I'm going to put it in a little bit heavier. Okay, what I've done there is a cut through the plane. Now that could go on and on and on all the way up through the oblique plane, but I'm just doing it from tree until it hits the vertical trace. And as you can see there, where it hits the vertical trace, it actually hits at the same height of it. I went straight across to tree there, and then that would connect back here, because that is the projections as tree goes back onto the vertical plane. Okay, and if I sketch that in there, or sorry, shade that in, a little bit better there now. Shade that in a little bit of green. That there is a horizontal cutting plane that's after helping us locate our point three. Okay, that horizontal cutting plane is up obviously at that height. But what we have to do is we have to use the plan view of it, which is the point down here, okay, to help us locate it in elevation, obviously on our 2D drawing. And that's how it would work for all of these points here, guys, for two and for one, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to the drawing and we're going to complete the rest of it in points point one, points one and two. So zoom out there. <coughs> okay. There we go. So we're going to find that in our elevation. We're going to find points one and two. So same concept. 
I'm going to go parallel to my horizontal trace from number one. Okay, and do the exact same thing then from number two. And there we go. At this point now, I'm going to project them both up to my elevation. Or sorry, to my vertical trace first. So where it hits the XY line, project up to the vertical trace. Vertical trace. Then I will project two up to the height that I know I'm going to need, so up about there. And then I will project one up as well. Out there roughly. And just save me a bit of time. So one is going to come across to there and two is going to come across to there so found two and I found one that there is the three points in my elevation found so I set them up to draw my lamina as it would appear in my elevation so there 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 is our lamina as it would appear in the elevation view okay um, I hope you found that understandable guys there's a little bit in that okay the point location is quite easy as I said in the previous question but it's understanding how we use the horizontal cutting plane here and in the first question we use the vertical cutting plane okay uh, depending on if your lamina is in the plan view obviously it's a horizontal one if your lamina is in the elevation view it's going to be a vertical cutting one okay I uh, hope you found that helpful guys, uh, we will move on to the next sheet there, sheet number 7 next, okay.